Hey everyone, welcome to a new night review of the Megan Conquest, or known as the Arcana in the rest of the world. I'm gonna check the exterior interior details in night, see the ambient lights. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So ladies and gees, here is the new Megan Conquest, or known as the Arcana in the rest of the world. And uh, here is the key. So we have the uh, lock unlock you can turn on the uh, lights and unlock the uh, cargo so if i use the remote you can see the really bright led headlights now if i approach the car and enter the geofence zone the car will unlock you can see there so it kind of turns on the lights and the daytime running lights and the tail lights but if we come a little bit closer, it's going to unlock, turn the inside lights. So that's cool. If I back up, it's going to unlock and turn them off, just like that. We back up a little bit uh, more. You can see the silhouette of the car and it looks so elegant. I love the stance, it's a little bit taller. I love the coupe look despite having a little bit less headspace on the rear but it's just such an elegant car now uh, let's move to the rear i also love the megan signature i think the megan conquest suits this car better than the arcana but very very beautiful and you can see the performance of the headlights now let's open the cargo space so this is the e-tech Um, you can see fifth door opens very tall once more with the lights and you can see very accessible cargo space so I love the fact that this is flat bottom uh, you have a warm light here I think it's enough although it wouldn't hurt to have like two lights maybe they could have put in a light on the top here to illuminate all of that but it is what it is and then over here you can see like from the street lights there's extra room but not a lot because there is a battery underneath because of this is the e-tech seats knock down 60 40 or in this case like more of like perhaps 80 20 doesn't matter as you can see e-tech so this is the hybrid now um let's check the rear good illumination on the rear there is a three lights on the top and there's no footwell lights on the rear but it's still okay uh, there are some USB on the rear I honestly was driving so I couldn't check if they're on or not I'm gonna move the camera towards the rear once I get the front on the front now on the front we have the ambient lights of course, you can change colors, and this there's a grating sound. Uh, this illuminates in white. There are no like pockets, um, lights here or any football lights apparently. And you can see the dual lights on the top. So let's just jump inside. Put the key on the side. Zoom to wide lens now you can see the dash you can see the front ambient lights if i hold the brake turn on the car you can see the front headlights turn on as well and you can see the interior from at least from the point of view so there's going to be point of view driving with full impressions on the road and full review subscribe don't miss that zooming in now you can see the beautiful silhouettes on the light. Uh, the car is going to be really annoying with this message, so I can't really show you a lot. I'm just going to put the seatbelt on. So always safety first, of course. Now uh, you can see the steering wheel have a white dials. Everything is mostly white. So you have like white over here. You have white over here if you lock the rear it tends to red you can see the screen is 
very good. Uh, you can change the brightness with this one. So this is the button that allows you to have more or less light. And it's cool. You can also see the headlights. You can see the long beam. Pretty good. Um, so if you turn on the AC, you can see the red button here. Max below. Uh, rear defrost and close air circulation. So red and uh, kind of amber lights. Uh, if you turn on EV, it will also uh, be marked red, but I think you need to go like to drive, perhaps. It says unavailable for some reason. I think it needs some conditions to be met, but there's a light. And over here, you can see the heated like has two levels. That's cool. Uh, there is also a heated steering wheel here, and it also has a little light there got to show that uh, light beam can be lowered or raised by pressing this guy and of course you have the beautiful AC controls uh, nice physical buttons uh, you can play with that so that's pretty cool in the area where everything is going on the touch screens uh, start engine stop button is a little bit bluish although can say if it's on the camera and to show you the glove compartment has a warm light just like the cargo space but it's very decent yeah uh, so yeah let's check those USBs on the rear I don't think anything illuminates so um, just move the camera you're probably gonna see if something illuminates or not I don't think that's the case so Yeah. Um, and it's just to show you here a little bit uh, my sense. So in this case, you can switch to sport and it switches the uh, infotainment here to sport and you can go to echo. It also switches that. But look at this, if I zoom out, you can see the ambient lights on the side here. So let me just like show you this size you can see here. Echo Sport and here my sense. Okay, zooming back in. There are no lights here, so yeah, that's it. And yeah, the mirrors don't have the auto dimming, unfortunately. So that's a little bit disappointing. There's a lot of people uh, just like blinding you when you're driving. So I really haven't checked the configurator if there's the option for that, for the auto dimming, but the rest is pretty solid. So everyone, if you like the video, be a cool person, smash the like button, leave a comment below. How do you like the new Megan Conquest or Arcana? I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.